Hey everyone, Jordan from Burris Optics. In this video, we're gonna cover uploading a bullet profile to your Eliminator 6. To do this, we're gonna need as much information about your bullet as possible, your Eliminator 6, and your smartphone with a Burris Connect app already downloaded. The first thing I'm gonna do is open up the Burris Connect app and build a custom rifle profile. To do this, go to the Ballistics tab. You'll notice that I already have one set up for my Tika. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new rifle. We're gonna add the Eliminator 6 to my Benelli Lupo. I like to add the caliber as well, just so I know exactly what rifle I'm talking about. Under Rifle, I'm gonna put Benelli Lupo. And under Scope, I'm gonna select Eliminator 6. For my cartridge, I know that I'm shooting a 300 Win Mag. You can go ahead and search. Next, I'm gonna set my sight height above bore. I know that for this particular rifle, it's about 1.6 inches. My zero range is gonna be 100 yards and I'm gonna use Imperial units. Last thing I'm gonna do is change this image to a bolt action rifle so I know exactly what I'm working with. You can make additional comments about your rifle profile below if you want. Go ahead and hit save. To build my custom bullet profile, go to that rifle. We're gonna pick a bullet. Go ahead and hit the plus sign. I'm gonna go ahead and name this bullet profile as well so I know exactly what this profile is built for. You can choose between a factory ammo library, a bullet library for hand loads, or just by building a custom profile using the data fields below. Let's go ahead and search this factory ammo. We know this is Norma, Bond Strike, 180 grains, and there it is. So you'll see below that all the information about that ammo has already been put in. I encourage everybody to go to the range and use a chronograph to get the most accurate muzzle velocity possible. This will ensure that your Eliminator 6 is shooting as precise as it can. Go ahead and hit save. Next, hit back. This is where you have a chance to put in your environmental conditions. You can manually input your environmental settings or you can select density altitude to use your geolocation and pull atmospherics automatically to the app. Now these environmentals are set when you build this bullet profile. If you wanna make any changes, you need to go back into the app, change your environmentals, and it'll build you a new bullet profile. That's everything that you need to do for building your bullet profile. The next thing we need to do is upload it to your Eliminator 6. Next, we're gonna hit the Optics tab. We're gonna go ahead and connect to our Eliminator 6. Make sure your Eliminator 6 is turned on by pushing that front range button. It'll show that your device is connected by either showing a Bluetooth symbol on the app or by showing that your device has been connected. Next, click on your Eliminator 6. Here you'll see the settings that we covered in a previous video, but for this specific step, we're gonna click Upload Ballistic Data. Now we're gonna select that bullet profile that we built for our Eliminator 6, and I'm gonna select that Colorado Elk Hunt bullet that I've chosen for this hunt. I have a chance to name that table one more time. This is super helpful for knowing exactly what table you have uploaded to your scope. Make sure everything below is correct, and then hit Upload. You'll know that it's working, by seeing the uploading indicator on the app. You'll know that it's finished when it says upload, upload finished. Now you can go back to your optic by hitting the optics tab and you can see the active table says Colorado Elk Hunt. To confirm that the correct bullet profile has uploaded to the scope, simply hold the range button down for five seconds and it'll display the bullet profile that's been uploaded in the heads up display. It's important to note that when you upload a bullet profile to your Eliminator 6, it actually uploads 16 different density altitudes worth of data. The onboard weather station will automatically select the optimal altitude settings. You can also manually adjust those settings and we'll cover that in a different video. That's everything about building and uploading a bullet profile for the Eliminator 6. To learn more about the scope, including changing the heads up display settings, sighting it in, or other things, Watch the rest of the videos in this series or visit BurrisOptics.com.